Hey guys, it's Najwa. I wanted to film one last New Year's Eve look for you. This one I went a bit more classic with. The classic red lips with a nice shimmery glittery eye. I love this look. This look goes with anyone. Anyone at all that wants to do this, they can do it and they will look fly. So I really just wanted to do something classic for um, New Year's, the last look. I have two other looks that I'll link below, but this one I think is my favorite because it's so classic. It's very me. I love a nice red matte lip and I'm going with LA Splash with this one because this lasts all night, guys. All right, guys, so keep on watching if you wanted to see how I got this classic New Year's Eve makeup look. I hope that you enjoy, and thank you again so much for a wonderful 2015, and I hope that you guys stay safe and have a wonderful night. Bye. All right, guys, so first you're going to prime your eyelids. It's very important to prime them because you want your makeup to last all night, guys. This is New Year's, so you don't want any makeup um, malfunctions. <laughs> you want your makeup to last the entire night, and yeah, you're going to look beautiful. So make sure your eyes are primed. I'm using a matte paint pot in uh, Painterly. You can use whatever primer you have, but I love Painterly. It keeps my makeup on all night. Get that even under your eyelids, guys everywhere I'm telling you all right guys so you want to also set that primer with a shadow that is close to your skin tone or just neutral you want to make sure to set the base because it helps with blending your eyeshadows would blend so much better if you do this Next, I go in with brown. I like to start with browns if I know I'm going to eventually darken that to a black. I like to start with browns to map everything out. So I'm just doing a simple cut crease type of um, look here. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just laying down that brown so you know where your shadows are going to go. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It helps when you look down into a mirror so you can see that crease. And next, I go in with this angled crease brush, I think it's called, from e.l.f. I really like it because it allows you to, because of the shape of it, it allows you to apply that color and blend it out in your crease. I'm using like a lighter brown. The first one was a bit darker, but this is a bit lighter and it just helps with the transition. I'm using a lighter brown just to define the crease. That's all we're doing here. And this really doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to make sure you're blending. Your blending skills have to be on point, guys. Now, in this clip here, I am actually applying that first dark brown again because we lost some of it while we were blending. So I'm just applying that again to make sure that that area is the darkest because that's the area that we want to be the darkest and then it just fades lighter as we go up to the eyebrows. And again, I'm just going in and blending and blending. Blend your life away, guys. I applied some highlight here. And again, I'm going into that crease, but this time with a black color. Um, this, of course, is going to make that crease really, you know, dark and stand out. And this is going to really test your blending skills. If you can get that black to not look harsh, by the end of the makeup look. So just blend your life away with brushes. You can use your brush alone. You can apply some of that brown to help you know, the blending process, but you wanna make sure it's blended. And after you've done all that blending, you're gonna blend some more because again, you can't have harsh lines here. Um, as you can see, the black, the section that I put the black is the darkest, but it still has to look blended. So go back into the brown and just, you know, 
do that windshield wiper motions back and forth, back and forth <laughs> until you get that shit blended. <laughs> All right, after that blending is done, I'm going in with this product here. It's from Revlon, and it's like a dual shadow glittery thing. It's called Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. And I'm going in with the liquid shadow. It's like a champagne-y color. It's really pretty. I'm using a brush with this because I don't want to use that doe foot applicator. So I'm just applying that all over my lid space making sure not to get above that crease line that we created. And I'm just applying that there. And then after that, I'm gonna go into the glitter, the other, the opposite side, which is the glitter. Now, please be careful with this glitter. It comes with a brush, which is great. Um, I just dabbed it on my lid with a brush and then I used that my other brush to spread it out and make sure it's even but be careful with this because it's so wet the formula is so wet if you have hooded eyes it will go it will go above your crease so as you can see that happened with me and I had to kind of wipe that away with a tissue I mean everything can be fixed and then I just went in with some brown in that crease again to get it dark but just be careful one thing I did to help this um, glittery part to not transfer, I went in with a glitter on top of that. I think it was a hard candy glitter on top of that so that it helped it to just set it in place. And then again, I'm going in with the Revlon glitter under my eyes and just the glitter section alone under my eyes just the inner corners and then I went with a black on the outer section now this black is harsh so I would recommend to blend it with some browns which is what I did I don't think I, I think I edited that part and then in between the black and the shimmer you want to apply something just to make sure it transitions you can apply a shimmery brown or you know just something to help with the transition now i'm applying bronzer and blush the bronzer was from tarte in hotel harris and the blush is from elf it's the um, quad blush palette that they have now in light i believe now i'm applying highlight this is my favorite part it's the um, bobby brown highlight in bronze glow it's beautiful I apply it with that brush wet first and then I switch to a fluffy brush and I I just feel that a fluffy brush or using two different brushes helps to give me the intensity I want and now for the lips this is the main attraction here this is an LA splash lip liquid lipstick it's waterproof and it's in poison Apple. This is a beautiful color that dries matte and it is gorgeous guys like this will stay all night you will not have an issue with this liquid lipstick. Alright guys thanks so much for watching I just wanted to end this video with a little talk through I guess I wanted to wish you guys a great night I hope that your New Year's Eve New Year is gonna be wonderful I hope that you spend it with the, the people that you love and I hope that you know you're in a good place um, 2016 will be great it will be a great year I'm very positive about 2016 heck I'm gonna be 30 in 2016 so it's gonna be a great year I I know it um, I wanted to just come on here to wish you guys a happy new year and thank you for all that you do for watching my videos for commenting and for liking I see you I see you every time you know you comment I see you all the new subbies and old I love you guys and I hope you have a wonderful new year bye guys <laughs>